Hi, I'm Chef Jeff Trombetta from Norwalk Community College in Norwalk, Connecticut. And today we are going to make stuffed jalapeno poppers with cream cheese. So we have cream cheese in this bowl and we're going to soften it up with the paddle so we could blend in our other ingredients. What are our other ingredients? We're going to put uh, chopped ham. It's actually a pancetta. Okay. You don't have to. You can keep it vegetarian. I just think it, uh, ham provides wonderful flavor. We're going to put some scallions. All right, put them in there. This will help keep the cheese from melting too, because it kind of holds it together, gives it some structure. We'll put a little bit of green pepper in there. It's got enough of the jalapeno going on there, and I'm going to put just a touch of onion. There we go. And I'm going to put a little bit of breadcrumb, not much, just to kind of help tighten it up. And let's put a little salt and a little bit of pepper, white pepper, ground white pepper, and let's mash it up. So it's well blended, and I'm going to taste it just to make sure everything's in balance. So to fill the jalapeno, you want to cut out the core. This is the way I like to do it. You could slit down the center and open it up, but when you fry it, you have a tendency for leakage. So I prefer, I prefer this method. So we'll just get the knife in there, and I'm going to cut away all the seeds and kind of dig it out, hollow it out. Don't be bashful. And you know, if you leave some seeds in there, it's not a crime but it'll be hotter. So now we're going to fill the jalapeno peppers that I hollowed out with the cream cheese filling. So we just take a little tab of that and push it down in there. A little bit at a time. These are a great tool, these little, they're for intricate pastry work, little tiny spreaders, but I like to use them for a lot of kitchen work. Now you could even use a pastry bag without a tip. Now we will run our filled jalapeno poppers with the cream cheese to the standard breading procedure. And what is that procedure? Well, it's a standardized way to bread a product. We always start out with the product. It's supposed to be a little bit wet. These aren't that wet. It goes into flour, which is dry. Then it goes into egg wash, which is just eggs thin with a little bit of water. And then that adheres to the dry flour. And breadcrumbs adhere to the wet egg wash. So now we're going to pop our breaded poppers into the 360 degree fryer and we're going to fry them till a nice brown. We have nice clean oil. Our oil is perfect and I can tell because I can see the oil is a little wavy. It's not smoking. Okay, it sizzles. Be careful. Don't be afraid of it though. So get close because you don't want to, you know, throw it in there and splash. And don't move it right away until it has a chance to crisp up. Okay, now I can kind of move it over. Be gentle because that breading will slide off. Now I cooled down a little bit the oil by putting the poppers in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank it up a little bit to recover the heat. Actually it doesn't need that much. And the popper is going to stay a little bit crisp but just tender. The cheese will melt very quickly. All you want to do is just get a crisp outer breading and then just heat it through the center. So I put the fried jalapeno poppers on some paper towel to absorb the excess grease. Very important. And we're going to hold these in an oven while I prepare a nice corn and tomato salsa. So we're just going to chop up some bell pepper and a little bit of tomato. We're going to finish our salsa with corn, some chopped jalapeno, a little bit of chopped onion, and I'll put a little fresh basil in there. So let's get our jalapeno poppers out of the oven and go ahead and plate them with the salsa. So we're just going to put a little bit of tomato sauce down as a garnish. And we're going to take our salsa and we are going to take our jalapeno poppers. We're going to cut them so we could see that gorgeous center. And there is your final presentation. That is unbelievable. I'm Chef Jeff Trombetta from Norwalk Community College, Norwalk, Connecticut. And remember, it's just good cooking. Thank you.